I think he wants to come with us. Well, I tend to like drive like a Turkish person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's very thick. My reoccurring nightmare might come true. We're Marion and Chris, and we've been traveling full time since May 2018. We'll just see how it goes. I don't know. Whilst attempting to drive around the world in Trudy, our home on wheels, this happened. All British travellers abroad are advised, advised uh, to return now. As borders closed around us, we decided to wait it out in Turkey until we were able to continue our adventure east. Welcome to Turkey! We woke up this morning to a beautiful sunrise on the beach here. Look at that view this morning. We had a we had a dog who guarded the van all night. All night. You're really hungry, mate, aren't you? You're really skinny. He's on his third bowl of food. <laughs> Do you want some water? Can you pass me the water? Me I can. Water. But one of the uh, one of the problems right now is uh, there's no tourists. You know, really feeding the dogs, so they they they're getting really hungry. All you can do really is, uh, you know, give them a good meal, and uh, you can't save them all, but giving them a good meal definitely helps. And this chap's looking really happy now, okay. aren't you? Oh yeah. It's thirsty as well. Waking up here on the beach in Demra. I came out this morning and I was looking at the mountains behind me. It really does get the imagination going to think that all those years ago, St. Nicholas, somebody that we celebrate every year, woke up and looked at those mountains. I just find that mind blowing. And he would probably have come and seen and swam in this sea right here. And uh, I just find that definitely thought-provoking. Good morning, we've got all the dogs this morning. There's another one coming. Do you want some water as well? Oh, we've got three now. Good morning, everybody. How are you? <laughs> what are you doing? You've come to get your friend. We'll start a fight if we feed you. <laughs> uh, yeah, my humans. I think he wants to come with us. You, you can't, mate, I would. If we were in England, you'd be in the van. You'd be in the van. If I knew that I could give you a good home, you would be in my van. But I just can't give you... Oh, he is a community dog. Oh, he has got a tag. He's got a tag. Yeah. Yeah. So this morning, we're heading back up the coastline. We're starting to head um, back to Dalian to do our visa application next week. Um, Dalian's probably about three hours north of here, so today we're going to do a couple of hours north, head back to Fetie, and uh, then we will then head up to Dalian. So when you arrive at a traffic light with two lanes, in Turkey we tend to make three lanes and then it's like whoever's the first and fastest makes it. So we always tend to go slow and let everybody find their own place first. <laughs> Isn't it love? You do, I tend to like drive like a Turkish person. <laughs> <laughs> Every man for himself. Oh, Marianne won! <laughs> Stuck in place, just waiting for a green light. So driving along the road armed with my GoPro, it's funny because if I see a shot that I want, I have to open the window and by the time I get there, I've missed it. Or if I drive the window open, I'm cold, but we just drove past a herd of goats. Marianne's like, goats! And then she pulls off on the side of the road and starts waving at this poor shepherd who looked horrified. So, <laughs> uh, but I didn't manage to capture it because the camera, the window was closed. And but you were saying, just drive, don't just stop here, drive. I was like, just drive. 
The shepherd looks like he's just about to be abducted. <laughs> it's blending in with another crowd. When things go wrong, we'll pass the blame around. You may notice that we've changed our clothes. <laughs> No magic involved. On the way to Dalian, we stopped off for a night in Fetier. We uh, chilled on Chalice Beach. We caught up with Mick and Trudy, and we even went for our first roast Sunday dinner, even though it was a Saturday, in over a year. Which, for a Brit, if you know how much we like our Sunday roasts, it was a really nice thing. Um, so yeah, so we're heading now to Dalian. We're about 45 minutes away, ready for tomorrow's visa application. I think we need to give Trudy another wash though. She's very, She very is very grubby. Mucky. Parking on the beach is not good for Trudy's look. No, She's getting a bit trashed. In fact, we've had <laughs> rain, we've had thunder, and in fact, we were on Shropshire Radio this morning, so it was nice to chat to them. It was. Up. And thank you for all the messages of the people that were actually watching the show or listening to the show. We've just arrived back in Dalian. Seems funny to come back. I know, well, look at all the trees, they're green again. And we're back at Osmanli Hani. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a bit. I've got an inch. Go on. <laughs> oh, that's a bit tight, love. How you doing? Yeah, good. Hey! Ah, Mahama! Mahama! We all here, look at that! Hey! Dalian family. Yes. That is us. I think that's us. We we think this is. Yeah. Yeah. It's our mattress. It's amazing. The mattress is here. Yeah, Sue Marine. Sue Marine from Mr. Oh, he, it was supposed to come on Thursday. Is it for you? Yeah. For us. <laughs> we weren't expecting the mattress to come until Thursday. And it's here. Oh, wow. It's very thick. Oh, it's very thick. Our mattress is normally like this. No, it's normally about this thick. That's okay. That's perfect. It's good. It's going to be comfy. Oh, we're going to have to... <laughs> Is it comfy? It's very comfy. Yeah? I love it. As part of our residency application, we need to go and get some photographs done. I've done my hair. Yes, you have, and you look magnificent. I haven't shaved. <laughs> but as I always say, I am the way I am, that's it. That's so, your face. <laughs> this is what I look like. So we're, we're heading into um, Dalian to a photo shop to get some photographs done for our application. Yeah. Looking good. Okay, mm -hmm. my turn. Okay, thank you. Beautiful. First time. First time. Amazing. That's because you're a professional. Professional. <laughs> thank you very much. You're welcome. That was super easy. 60 TL for both of us. And uh, we're all set up now for our uh, appointment to fill the paperwork up. So I think while we're in town, we should maybe go find coffee. Inside because I don't know what's happened with the weather. But it's, it's cold. cold. It is cold today. It's, cold. it's probably only about 15 degrees. It's when the sun Ooh. goes in. 
when the sun goes in it's uh yeah it's pretty chilly we're just going past the school in dalian and it's so nice to hear kids laughing uh i think it's something that we noticed it's very quiet over this covid period it's been really quiet without hearing kids and laughter in the streets but they're all allowed out now they're all out now Although i'm not back sure for how long because the numbers are going back up but they're all at school <laughs> laughing and playing together mm, it's so nice that's amazing look at this cake wow. thank you very much <laughs> so we were walking back to um trudy along the river and we thought we can't resist stopping while the cafes and restaurants are open for a coffee and a bit of cake so we've stopped at the the riverside terrace uh restaurant here right on the river literally the river is right here and the cake is right and we've ordered here. this cake <laughs> how good does that look wow. a special easter cake with chocolate and uh oh it just looks absolutely heavenly I'm really looking forward to this. Look at this. Mm. That's really good. You got the job. I know why you're <laughs> it. You got a new friend? <laughs> I think even the cat knows how good the cake is. I've been Look at that. <laughs> you're hoping Marianne drops some, aren't you? Are you my friend for cake? <laughs> You're my friend because it's <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> so whilst we're in the restaurant, we, we thought we would catch up with a little bit of online stuff. I've got the laptop out, which is a perfect opportunity to tell you guys about today's sponsor. We would like to say a massive thank you to Surfshark VPN for supporting our around the world drive. For those of you that don't know what a VPN is, it stands for Virtual Private Network. Basically, it creates an encrypted tunnel which keeps you safe when you're surfing online using public Wi-Fi. But there's more to using a VPN than just online security. By changing your virtual location, you unlock content that wouldn't normally be available in your area. And also, when you're looking to book flights, you can avoid price discrimination simply by changing your virtual location with Surfshark. That sounds very expensive. Actually, it's not that expensive because the lovely people at Surfshark have given Tread the Globe followers a massive 83% discount and three months free. Simply use the code Tread the globe, you'll find it in the description below to get started. Ah, good morning, pups. Morning. This is a new little puppy. Morning. You weren't here last time, were you? So, we've woken up this morning at Osmanli Hanny Apartments here in Dalian. Marianne's already been busy, she's got the first load of washing on because we have access to a washing machine, Yay. which you know we always get excited about and the sun is coming out so it's going to be a good morning look at this dog <laughs> i'm not sure he's very comfortable right let's get the washing out yes washing time and then we've got the bed test oh, the bed test i know marianne's been having this recurring dream about oh. does the mattress fit in the van and uh, we're looking at it it's, it's a lot thicker so the shelf at the end of the bed may be an issue but we're going to get it all tidied out, get the new mattress, and then the final test to see whether it fits. Yeah, Levent's going to let me use his Hoover, so I'm going to be able to give it a good clean out. In fact, I posted on Instagram this morning, if we do some updates on the van and do some upgrades and tweaks on her following the nine things we hate about Trudy. We'll be sure to share. Would you like to see it? Or shall we just go off and do it quietly in the background? Because nobody's used the washing lines for a while. I'm just going to give them a quick wipe with a cloth here just to make sure they're all clean no bird poop okay so I'm just leaning over to set the camera up to film putting the washing up <laughs> I got a bit wet because I lent in this bucket here I think I might need to go and change 
I am very clumsy. Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, it's the moment of truth. So you can see how much, I don't know whether that shows on the camera, but you can see how uneven the bed is. This is a Duvalet topper that we've got. It's a memory foam topper, which is very comfortable. Yeah, it's comfortable. Actually, it's very comfortable. And then the bed underneath. Is the, I think it might even be the original I one. think it may be the original. So it might be 16, 17 years old. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Um, so we've measured it we've got the new one hopefully it fits a couple of concerns is uh, you know this hinges up and it's quite easy to get underneath the bed to the bits that we store underneath but the new mattress is a lot thicker than this um so it may not fold up so easy it also may not fold up under this shelf. under this shelf here yeah. Um, this is a bit of a squeeze, but because the mattress is soft, we can squeeze it under. Yeah. So we may have to lift this shelf up or put it on some kind of sort of hinge system here. Yeah, maybe we can make it foldable. There you go. So if we get this out and yeah. then we can test whether or not the new one fits. Yeah. I'd like to say thank you to Levena Osmanli Hani for having us back and being our receiving delivery point for the mattress. Absolutely. Anyone wondering why I've got a green towel? <laughs> it's because this is broken. The blind's broken, so we use a towel. In fact, we might be able to get that fixed. We might be able There's to a place that. in Fetier. We're thinking of doing a few little upgrades. The green towel hangs up to act as a curtain for the damaged window. And uh, Marianne's just taking the curtain off at the back so that we can um, get the new mattress in. Here's Mr. Levent, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Thank you very much for receiving the yeah. mattress. So we're gonna okay. see whether it fits. I've got my chicken bunting. Ah. I've got my chickens. My sister Sue gave me that. Right. And then we've got lights. Oh, you're dropping uh, close pegs. Yeah, and then we've got lights. So at night time, we can put this oh, on. It's, it's gonna be really thick. It's, uh, I know. Isn't it? It's yeah. a lot thicker, isn't it? Ooh. It might not fit. <laughs> We haven't actually got the mattress out for a very long time. Yeah, I'm a little bit embarrassed. Don't look. <laughs> There's a lot of dust. There's a lot of dust. All the way down the side here, which is inevitable. So we're going to borrow Levent's hoover and give it a quick hoover out. Yeah, living in a small space, it all collects somewhere, doesn't well, it? Well, everything's got a storage space, you know, like we've got our waffle boards, you know, even under the little mattress here, just so that they're somewhere to keep them the fishing rod some spare toilet rolls some extra chicken bunting <laughs> some chicken bunting some spare bags yeah i don't even know what that is what is that colored paper oh that's when you you bought that to make christmas decorations that you never did marianne <laughs> next year oh and it's from um, the oh. Merry Christmas. That's why I didn't make Christmas decorations because Ursula bought us a Merry Christmas sign. Okay, so we're armed with the Hoover. Okay, so the mattress is here. Should we take one at a time? If we take an end each. There you go. Take an end each. Which way are we going? Should we go the back way? Yeah. Probably better. Oh, that's good. Levent brought the other one. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so I thought it would be a good exercise to lay the old mattress on the floor to compare the height and the size to see how it's looking. Good plan? <laughs> If we just put it on the floor here. The good thing I've noticed is it's going to be a lot more comfortable because it's nearly twice as thick. But it has the memory foam a topper attached to it. Yeah, so the topper's already on it, so we may not need to use the duvelet. Um, but yeah, so now let's put it on top and see whether it looks like it matches up size-wise. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Are we lined up? Lined up. How is it looking? Isn't it? I think it looks pretty good. 
is the the joint in the right place too isn't it yeah it is look the seam's still there it's looking it's a little bit bigger there though oh no i can move it over a bit oh you can It's a little bit bright, but I'll tell you what, it's very comfortable. It's very comfortable. If it fits, I'm going to be a happy man. If not, I'm sleeping here tonight. Can we sleep here today? Can we sleep outside? <laughs> What's the weather for? <laughs> He's got a tent. Perfect. He's got a tent. Will, it, will this fit in your tent? Yes. Perfect. So if it doesn't fit in the van, we can sleep here. Yeah, I'll Beautiful. bring it to you. <laughs> It's a little bit bigger this side. It's a little bit bigger. This side is overlapping a little bit, so we'll have to see. We'll yeah, once we zip it, maybe that will. Okay, the moment of truth. So I think if we uncover it, unwrap it and then zip, zip it, it first. Together. Okay. But the question is, does it fit? Let's find out. So the moment of truth. The moment of truth. The guys are gonna take it in. My reoccurring nightmare might come true. It's a little bit tight. Oh, let's pull that one out. Let's push it in. Do you want me to go on the inside and pull it? Oh no, you've got it. Baby, push the bottom. Oh yes. my it's in. God. Perfect. It's in. Does the door close though? Does the door? This is my dream was the door won't close. Uh, it's not <gasps> oh, hallelujah. It closes. Oh. Wow, look at that. It fits. Oh my goodness, this is literally amazing. We need to ring Tim and tell Tim. It fits. It fits. We don't have to change anything. Is it perfect? Yeah. Well, you can still keep that there as well. That's amazing. Well, another concern was that it would be too high to, to still be able to use the pockets here, but it fits. The question is, can we fold the bed from here? But I'm gonna have to go around the other side to I test that. The only problem is now Marianne's raised up when she sits to watch telly. Oh, look. Such service. Service. We got chai. <laughs> oh, look. I can drink Jessie Couleur. Look, Hold on. Try not to drop it on the new mattress. Baby. Let me just balance that because you know how clumsy I am. Baby. I can drink tea in bed. <laughs> we might need to get that adapted. That was a very successful morning. The mattress actually fitted. I can't believe it. Uh, a massive thank you to Tim from Sue Marine. He did actually say that if it didn't fit, that they would get a courier to collect it and send it back to the factory to adjust it. But that's good. That means that we did measure it correctly and they made it the right size. <laughs> Which is surprising because I normally get those things wrong. Um, but it's funny to be back in uh, in Dalian. Lovely to catch up with uh, Levent. Yeah. We're not sure how long we're going to be here for. Um, the priority for us is to renew our Turkish residency, as you know, um, so that we have an option to stay beyond the end of May uh, when our visa currently runs out. And Levent's brother, Ziki, is going to help us in the next couple of days to complete the paperwork um, and then we'll be heading back to the uh, immigration office in Fessier um, to apply and then fingers crossed all goes well. <laughs>